and welcome to TL Physics. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to talk about Doppler shift. Now you may have met Doppler shift before uh, at GCSE and it's the whole idea of that when an object is moving that it can affect the waves um, that it is showing to the observer compared to the ones that it's actually emitting. And a really good example of that is looking at the sound waves of an object of uh, an F1 car or an ambulance. You'll hear a high, as it comes towards you, as the wavelengths are squished, the particles are being squished together in the sound, you would get a much higher frequency wave, whereas it's going away from you, you get a lower. This is why I hear the meow as it goes past you noise. Okay, the same happens with light, that if something is approaching you, that the wavelength decreases, okay, which means it becomes a smaller wave, so something can actually seem more bluer than it seems. Well, if something is moving away from you, that wavelength looks a bit lower, and something can see more red than it seems. And we can see this in the stars as redshift and blue shift. And I'll give you an example. So I've been able, unable to draw the spectra uh, on this, but what I'm doing is the absorption spectra. So these black lines represent the absorption lines of the spectrum. And this is at rest. So this is the absorption spectra of an element on Earth. And if it was moving towards us, I would see a slight blue shift in this line. So this line that I've drawn here represents 420 nanometers. Whereas if the object was coming towards me, that line here will shift slightly and become a much shorter wavelength of 495 nanometers. Whereas if I took that element, that thing that's producing that element or absorbing that element, and push it away, the, that line moves to 535 and it shifts towards the red end. And this is what we call redshift and blue shift. And Doppler, in particular, you may have done this qualitatively, we're now going to look at this quantitatively. Now, this is the formula that is on your da data sheet, that we have a letter Z, and this represents the Doppler shift. And we can represent it by looking at the wavelength, the frequency, or the ratio between how fast the object is moving compared to the light that's being emitted. And just to make you aware, the change in wavelength or the change in frequency is all to do with the, um, the Earth take away the value that you're getting from the star. So let's actually give an example of what's happening here. And so I'm going to do uh, this one here. I'm going to do the blue shifting one. And I'm going to look at the change in wavelength. So the change in wavelength is the one that I would have at Earth, which is 520 nanometers, minus the one I would have from the star, which is 495 nanometers. So that is a change in wavelength, okay, of here, 5, 420 minus 495, five, so that's gonna be 25 nanometers, okay? So that's my change in wavelength. So I'm going to use this formula to find the Doppler shift. So I know that Z is minus the change in wavelength over the wavelength. And this wavelength is the one at Earth. So in this case, it's going to be 25 nanometers over 520 nanometers, which is going to be, grab a calculator. Oh. I lie, minus 25, let's talk about that minus sign there. So 25 divided by 520 is minus 0.048. It hasn't got a unit, it's just a Doppler shift. So this is a Doppler shift, a negative Doppler shift of 0.048. And now I can use any formula I wanted to work out the change in frequency, etc. I'm going to use it to work out the velocity that the object's moving away from me. So minus naught or moving towards me, sorry, 0.48 is the velocity over C, which is three times 10 to the eighth. So my velocity is gonna be fourteen point four. We'll check that three so the eight times point zero four eight. Times 10 to the 6 meters per second, and that's a negative sign. So, this negative sign implies that it is blue shifting, it's moving towards me. Okay, 
So this object here, the star that is emitting this is moving away at me, moving towards me at a speed of 14.4 times 10 to 6 metres per second. Let's do the redshift. So it's the same process, okay? So the same, exact same process. So my change in wavelength is going to be 520 nanometers minus 535 nanometers. So that is fifth, minus 15 nanometers. And that Z is minus, minus 15. So that's going to be 15 nanometers over 520 nanometers. So grab this again. 15 divided by 520. 0.06, okay. Oh, wait, no, 15 divided by 520. You put in 250 in. That's better. 0.029, okay. So putting that into my original formula, I know that uh, I've got a positive now, so 0.029 is V over 3 times 10 to the 8. So velocity equals times by 3 times the 8 of 8.65 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And that's a positive number, so that is red shifting. Okay. So that there is using this formula to red shift, um, using the Doppler effect formula, to actually calculate the velocity that an object will be moving away or towards you, okay? It's important that when you double check, do double check your answers make sense. Your velocity should be negative, okay, if it is blue shifting, all right? Um, and therefore, the actual change in your um, wavelength should be getting smaller. If you're using frequency, you are more than welcome to convert this into frequency using C equals F lambda to actually work out the frequencies. You know what? Let's have a go. Okay. I'm going to jump this board here, actually. So let's actually do the frequencies. So C equals F lambda. So frequency is C over lambda. Let's work out the frequency for the blue shift one. So blue shift, that line has uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 495 times 10 to the minus 9. And I've got a frequency of 6.06 .06 times 10 to the 14 hertz. My rest is 520 times... Uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 520 times 10 to the minus 9, and that's 5.77 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Okay, now let's use my change in frequency over frequency formula instead. So I'm going to have, remember it's earth, take away what it is. So it'd be frequency at the earth minus the frequency from the star over the frequency from Earth. So that's going to be 5.77 times 10 to the 14 minus 6.06 .06 times 10 to the 14 all over 5.77 times 10 to the 14. And that equals, so minus 6.06 .06 times 10 to the 14 divided by 5.77 times 10 to the 14. Oops, answer divided by 5.77. And I get an answer of minus 0.05. So this is that's my answer for my Doppler shift is minus 0.05. Okay, and I believe what we had here was 0.048. So we're rounding. Let's prove it a little bit more. I know that Z is velocity over C. So that is going to be minus 0.05 equals V over 3 times 10 to the 8. So my velocity equals 
15 minus 15 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, which given the 14.4, a little bit of rounding along the way, one, uh, minus 15 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, that being minus 14.4, not the end of the world. So you're more than welcome to, if you want to, convert it into frequency and use this formula if you're not happy with the negatives. Key things to remember is that the change in lambda or the change in frequency is always Earth minus what you get from the star, okay? And that if it's a negative velocity that you're blue shifting, and if it's a positive velocity, you are red shifting. This letter here, Z, is known as the Doppler shift, and it is the ratio between the change in versus the actual one it should be. So that there is Doppler shift and the equations.